Hello guys. Now in this video, we are going to learn about introduction to PLC. We are using a PLC named Siemens S7-1200 with the CPU 1212C AC-DC relay. And in this layout of videos, we are going to understand the PLC hardware. We will see how the processor works and we will wire the inputs and outputs. We will understand the basic fundamentals, how to wire this PLC. And then we'll have a summary. So I'm using a PLC S7-1200 along with this tutorials which you can see on my table over here. So this is my PLC which is powered up and using this PLC on my desk, I'll explain you various things how to work with this PLC. All right, so let's start. The first lesson is understanding PLC hardware. So that's the same PLC we have on the table, S7-1200. So let's see what are the various elements in this PLC. So we'll start with power supply 120, 220 AC. Now this power supply of this PLC has to be provided with 120 or 220 AC from your power source. Now you may find some PLC in which we supply 24 volts, but this one is AC input voltage. Okay, now why? Because this PLC has an internal power supply inside. So if I show you, if I show you this one, this PLC, if you see this part, this part of the PLC is the power supply. So this part converts the AC into DC. So you don't have to use any external power supply in this case. You can, you, you can directly provide AC voltage to this PLC. Okay, so you must take care of that because if your, if your PLC is DC source, if your PLC is written 24 volts and if, if you provide AC source, it will burn out immediately. So you have to check that, but what is the power supply rating of your PLC? Okay, so this is provided over here. So in my, in my PLC, you can see some wires. This is the wire. This is coming out from my power source and this is giving me line and neutral of 220 AC. So we'll see it's more details in the next slide. Now, next we have digital inputs. Now, you know that PLC is a digital controller which converts your input signals and process that using your algorithms and it will give you some outputs. So digital inputs are connected to this part of the PLC. Okay, so this PLC supports, now that's the model number, this PLC supports eight digital inputs. And these digital inputs is of 24 volts and you have to supply it here. And correspondingly, you'll find some indicators. Now these indicators will tell you which input is on or off. So we have some green lights here, which will indicate the input is on. If there's no green light, it means input is off. So I can show you by having a look at this PLC. Now this is my input simulator. If I turn on the input, you can see that if I turn on this button, it shows my third input is on. Okay, this is how input is indicated on this indicator. If I turn on another input, it will show my first input is on. So this is connected to my inputs. So how to wire this input, that will come later in the lesson. This is just to understand that we have an indicators here, which will tell you about the status of the inputs. Okay, next we have digital outputs and it says six number of outputs, relay type. Now relay is a coil which has some ampere ratings. So there are two types of PLC outputs. One is transistor type. Generally it's two types. One is a relay type. So relay type has more current, more current capability than transistor types. So we have relay types output here. We have six outputs. Okay. And then we have digital output indicators here. So similarly, the way we have seen the LEDs for inputs, we can have an LED for outputs. I could have shown you that, but my PLC doesn't have any logic inside. But in later lesson, you will see how you can see the status of your output on these LEDs. So if you are turning on, let's say a lamp or a solenoid or a motor, even you can see their status on the PLC. Instead of visualizing them at a physical level, you can see their status on the PLC as well. Okay. Then we have PLC status indicators. Now status indicator means whether the PLC is running or is it stop or is it at uh, some error status or is it at some maintenance mode? So this is a status indicator. So currently if you see this PLC, it shows my first LED is on, which is my run LED. So PLC is at run mode. At run mode, it will start executing the logic and it will give you the output. Okay, so this is a typical layout of a PLC. We have a power supply, inputs, indicators, outputs, indicators, and status indicators. So as mentioned, we have different status, run, stop, error, and maintenance. Okay, so let's proceed. 
This is a zoom layout of your inputs. So starting with this, if you see here, power supply, this is L1 and N. If you see this symbol, this arrow goes downwards. Now this means you have to supply the power, okay? It's mentioned 120 to 40 VAC. You have to supply AC voltage inside it. And this X10 is the, is the dedicated number for these three terminals. This is the symbol for earthing. Now, if you see these two terminals, it says L plus and M, and this arrow is going outwards. This is the DC output, which is 24 VDC. We will get 24 vo voltage output from this device. Remember, remember that you should not have to provide 24 from the power supply. It will give you 24 volts, okay? We can use this 24 volts for wiring our inputs, which we'll see that in the later slides. Then you have these terminals, eight terminals for your digital inputs to connect your digital inputs. Then you have analog input as well. So this PLC supports two analog inputs. One is at zero and one, okay? So it has two analog inputs and what are the resolution? We'll see that in the later slides. Then you have a memory card slot. Memory card slot is to store some information of your, let's say if you're recording some values in your PLC program and you want to store that value and later you want to read that value, you can keep storing that value in the memory card. This will help you to have a record of your process. All right. Then we have outputs. This is the output uh, terminals of the PLC. So starting with communication status indicator. Now if you see here, it says link and RX and TX. So if your PLC is connected to some, let's say an HMI or some other device which supports RS485 or Ethernet communication, this LED will show you the status, okay? So this is the status to, min to ensure the communication is perfectly fine or not. Then you have a LAN interface. So this is one of the best feature of S7-1200 that you have a LAN interface. So you can program your PLC with a standard LAN cable. You do not need any any other programming cable, unlike S7200 or Micrologix 1000, which does not support LAN. So this PLC supports LAN, so you can use your standard LAN cable to program the PLC, which is very easily available in the market as well. So this is a MAC address of your PLC. Then you have these relay outputs, as mentioned before. So you have six relays output, which you can connect to these terminals, okay?